Hey, how are you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. This is Arif Irshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos, tutorials, exam guidance, career guidance as well for the students of food science and technology. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. So if you are a subscriber of my channel and you have been watching my previous videos of the over the last week, uh, I have been sharing some videos, some career guidance related videos like uh, making an account on LinkedIn, like attending the workshop and seminars not skipping them and paying some special attention some close attention to the practicals mastering or developing some relevant skills now all of these videos are actually come into one single umbrella they all of these are part of one single uh, one single point that I'm trying to make and all of these are related to personal branding actually now personal branding is a different aspect that uh, I will definitely share in the upcoming videos and uh, I just want you to know that maybe it can get a bit overwhelming for the students to apply all these steps to apply all these strategies so i would recommend to uh, take one step at a time so if you if you were not paying attention to the practicals just uh, pay attention to the practicals from now on and just keep these steps in the back of your mind and whenever something shows up whenever a networking event shows up just attend that so all of these steps are actually working in correlation with one another now for example if you have made an account on linkedin and you are posting some relevant content on linkedin the content that is relevant to the food industry now you cannot expect to get results to get an internship or to get a job based on uh, based on that profile based on your profile or based on the content that you are posting so uh, there are there is not just one action that will lead to some specific result that you desire uh, actually they, there is a set of series there is a set of actions that you need to do and these actions can be different for different kind of jobs or maybe different for different kind of startups or business or things like that but i think there are some key components that you need to understand that you need to follow in order to land a job uh, or in order to basically build a business or maybe prepare for a government uh, examination although the three things that i have mentioned uh, they are preparation strategies because preparation for a job interview is definitely going to be uh, different than preparing for a government exam like ic or net or gate exam and preparing for a startup is going to be totally different from preparing for a government examination or preparing for a job interview so all of these three uh, streams are relatively different but there is one thing that you need to keep in mind especially for the people who are looking for jobs or the people who are going to build a startup or who are going to build a business not essentially for the people who are preparing for government organizations for uh, government exams but i think following these steps will do them no harm so there are two important components that you need to keep in mind to that you need to keep in back of your mind the one is personal branding and the second one and i think the second one is even more powerful than personal branding itself and that is networking now networking uh, in conferences or in workshops that can actually lead you to get some internship or get a job now a lot of people just confuse this thing that uh, they just have in a networking event in a conference or a workshop they just have to go to the speaker and talk to him or her and just ask for a job or internship directly so in 90 or 95 percent of the cases this does not work if you are just uh, asking for a job up front uh, it could be possible that they are just going to ignore you maybe you are going to exchange his or her card his or her visiting card but uh, it is not going, going to be fruitful at all so what you can do to uh, make it fruitful so personal branding then comes into play so personal branding is what so personal branding that means you have you have a brand associated with your name or you have a brand that adds value to the people to the lives of other people that maybe fills a need i have seen a lot of comments and a lot of dms in instagram that how did i get a job in fssi and let me tell you it is not actually fssi it's a food fortification resource center that is housed in fssi not uh, exactly fssi but yeah you can say partially fssi so uh, i was not i was not able to get that based on some examination or based on some interview uh, i was able to land that job based on a skill now not only that skill but also my personal brand which was also combined with a networking event which i'm going to talk about uh, in the upcoming video the one point that i'm trying to make over here is that there are some different points that you need to consider in togetherness in their you know now i know that this is not very explanatory that uh, how did i 
how did I land it into a networking event which landed me an internship, which eventually landed me a job uh, in FFRC that is housed in FSSI. Uh, so I'll make a separate video for that for sure because I'm getting a lot of comments now uh, about personal branding and about how I got a job in FSSI. So uh, it was based on a networking event and I will be posting a video about that. So make sure you have subscribed to the channel and make sure you have hit the bell icon as well because I'm not going to, going to tell you, uh, I'm not going to reveal that in this video. I'm going to tell that in the upcoming video. So make sure you have subscribed to the channel. And if you have not hit the bell icon, you may not, able, you may not be able to receive the notification when that video is released. So why I am pushing this uh, topic so much because this is very very important for me personally because that has enabled me to actually earn some money uh, out of my personal brand indirectly obviously so basically i'm really pushing this video uh, like a teaser or like a trailer for the upcoming video it's not uh, i know that this video has not added any kind of value and i just want you to know i just really want you to make sure that you have subscribed and make sure that you have hit the bell icon why i'm saying again and again the same thing <laughs> because i really want because this is a very important concept because uh, personal branding is usually not talked about uh, when it comes to the development and the, the growth of food science and food technology students and i really want you to follow that i really want you to implement that in your own life so make sure you have subscribed once again i will just keep saying that until you subscribe that red button just hit that red button <laughs> so this was it for today let me know down in the comments if you have any kind of doubts or if you are really excited about this video because i am very excited about this upcoming video i'll see you next time class dismissed